Morgan Stanley has just revealed how Tesla will surge 15 times its current price. They've unveiled a secret pathway for Tesla to further strengthen its iPhone moment and become the Apple of the auto industry. This call from Morgan Stanley is a substantial one. Adam Jonas raising them to overweight, changing the price target from $250 up to $400. And here's his summation in terms of why he believes Tesla potentially could be in for a long, long run higher. We believe that Dojo, that is the supercomputer that Tesla has built and is working on, can add up to $500 billion to Tesla's enterprise value expressed through a, fast, a faster adoption rate in mobility, that's the robo-taxi, and network services. Service as a uh, software as a service is a big potential within the auto industry, not just for Tesla, but for all automakers. By the way, nobody's really tapped into it yet. Tesla has approximately 400,000 vehicles that have full self-driving technology. Doesn't mean they're autonomous because they are not, but they have that technology, the Dojo supercomputer, as they continue to refine it and to use the next generation of chips that Tesla is developing. According to Adam Jonas, they could substantially have substantially lower costs. Adam Jonas has remained one of the street's most outspoken Tesla bulls, constantly keeping positive ratings on Tesla shares with juicy price targets, and this time he comes with something a lot juicier. Today we're going to discuss the recent report from Morgan Stanley about Tesla, and why this investment firm predicts that Tesla's Dojo supercomputer could add up to $500 billion to its market value. That's right, half a trillion dollars. Note that this is just one phase of the Tesla business revealed by Morgan Stanley. The American Investment Bank has revealed other interesting money printing strategies for Tesla that it can adopt, and today we're going to explore every one of them. So without further ado, let's get started. I think we're noticing the company changing the narrative towards maybe not making as many cars, but now pivoting towards selling, charging infrastructure, power electronics, batteries, and then yes, FSD and autonomy. That's the real money maker anyway. We think investors are kind of missing mm. the forest for the trees here. That, that, I mean, that's really interesting, Tom, because, you know, even here in the UK, if I do a road trip with an electric car, the supercharging stations are so much more efficient. And then you have the other ones where you have these long, long lines. So it's clear that there is demand for that kind of thing. But then what does Tesla look like? Take me 10 years down the road for this company. Are we talking about a, a completely different beast? I think so. Tesla develops its own chips down the road. It will have lower costs and ultimately could get to the, the end game in the auto industry in terms of autonomous driving much faster than anybody else. For Tesla's valuation to recover, Jonas points to three key areas. First up, avoiding further misses versus Wall Street consensus estimates after several downgrades over the past year. Second, the successful launch of new vehicles like the Cybertruck, and most importantly, demonstrating progress in evolving Tesla's business model towards more software, licensing and services, and robo-taxis. Morgan Stanley sees Tesla's auto dominance as peaking. Meanwhile, he means that new initiatives around areas like autonomous driving, energy storage products and non-automotive licensing all become vital next growth drivers. Could the firm be right though? What should Tesla investors be looking out for? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. A new note from Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas argues that Tesla stock is going to recover from its steep sell-off, but to do that, the automaker must prove that it can expand into high-margin businesses beyond automobile manufacturing. With shares falling to around $220, Tesla now trades at just 5 times 2024 earnings projections after frequently garnering over 100 forward PE ratios in the past. But according to Jonas, merely improving short-term execution or sentiment around the core auto business will not be enough. Unless Tesla can shift towards more sustainable, stable, recurring software and service revenues, Morgan Stanley expects continued pressure on the historically rich automotive valuations that Tesla once commanded. But before we carry on though, if you like this type of content, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to keep up to date on everything going on with Tesla. Tesla must make progress towards more capital light revenue streams in software, services, and licensing, and this will require rapidly growing its user base while also moving to incremental markets beyond point of sale auto purchases. As some analysts claim, Tesla's key three results were a considerable blow to the bulls, and it disappointed on practically all metrics, which means that it will take significant effect from the EV maker for sentiment to shift positive once again. So far, Tesla remains heavily concerned 
and concentrated on the one-time sale of vehicles, resulting in high capital intensity. But according to Adam Jonas, this app store-like marketplace around Tesla's products could unlock recurring high margin revenues. Morgan Stanley believes monthly active Tesla users could expand 10 times from around 5 million today to around 50 million in the early 2030s, and he sees $500 billion in potential from Tesla's Dojo supercomputer. This is not the first time that Morgan Stanley is making reference to the potential returns from Tesla's supercomputer. Tesla's stock has previously surged to its highest share price in over a month following an upgrade from Morgan Stanley that highlights possible revenue to be made from Dojo. According to Morgan Stanley, this business has the potential to justify a market cap exceeding $1 trillion for Tesla. According to Morgan Stanley, Dojo, Tesla's AI network designed to train self-driving vehicles using video data, does have the potential to expand Tesla's reach beyond vehicle sales and into the highly lucrative software-as-a-service market. It will enable faster and cheaper neural net training essential for developing AIs. The supercomputer will allow Tesla to leverage its real-world data set, which contains billions of object labels, depth and velocity data, and also road scenarios. Dojo is Tesla's in-house supercomputer that's been in development for about five years. It's designed to train AI systems to perform complex tasks like assisting driver assistance systems like autopilot and enabling FSD capabilities. Dojo is expected to be one of the most powerful supercomputers in the world, with a processing speed of over one exaflop, or one quintillion calculations per second. That's faster than the current fastest supercomputer in the world, which can perform 442 petaflops, or 442 quadrillion calculations a second. Dojo is not just a hardware project though, it's a software platform that will allow Tesla to leverage its massive data advantage. According to Morgan Stanley, Dojo is not only for Tesla's own use. The firm claims that the project can also open up new revenue streams for Tesla by offering its supercomputer and AI services to other companies and industries. The investment firm compares Dojo to Amazon Web Services, the cloud computing division of Amazon that's become a major source of profitability and growth for the e-commerce giant. Morgan Stanley also estimates that Dojo could generate up to $15 billion in annual revenue for Tesla by 2030, and potentially much more in the long term. A project like Dojo could help to start meeting its financial targets consistently. Other strategies include the use of the expansion of Tesla models beyond just the Model S, X, 3, and Y. This could be kickstarted by the release of the Cybertruck, the Model 2, and also RoboTaxis. According to Jonas, the potential impact of a launch of a vehicle like the Cybertruck on sentiment should not be underestimated. Additionally, a bigger part of Jonas' bullish thesis for Tesla rests on the potential to push beyond being a primarily automaker. The analyst also noted that over the next 6 to 12 months, his firm looks to further evidence of the business model moving forward, and it looks at things like capital light projects like licensing and software, all of which can be relevant beyond just the auto market. This part also relates to Jonas' belief that Tesla will be able to project its current multiple by showcasing a credible link to the AI theme. Ultimately, for the stock to move higher, Jonas thinks it all comes down to Tesla achieving one or more of the above. He also added that investors will show a willingness to believe in the long-term Tesla addressable market and profit potential of the company, but are unlikely to take down any further revisions in earnings and free cash flow forecasts without cramming down the multiple. Overall, Morgan Stanley believes that Tesla is not just an automaker, but a tech company as well, and it will soon attain this position fully once its projects hit the market. But what do you think about this impact on Tesla's future? Do you agree with Morgan Stanley's bullish outlook? Let us know down below. For more exciting updates on Tesla, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. See you there.